What's going on YouTube? Welcome to our garage gym tour. Come on inside. to our garage gym. We get a lot of questions about, you know, how we built it, and why we built it, um, you know, what's the reasoning behind everything. We built this, I'll be honest, to save time commuting to the gym and back. We have two young kids, and everybody knows, at least I, can, I think the families out there can relate, is when you have kids, your time goes from that much time to about that much time. And this was a way for us to still get our workouts in in the morning and spend time with our kids and obviously juggle their schedule and everything else. So that's why we, that's the big reason why we wanted to have our own home gym or garage gym or basement gym, however you want to say it. Um, for us, we decided to build a whole structure that was going to be dedicated to this. My other favorite dog doing something. My other. That's how you tell if you're Canadian without saying anything. Okay, so when did we decide to build a garage gym? This might be surprising, but we actually started this in the fall of 2018. We made that decision then, and by the time we had the plans and permits finished, we actually didn't break ground until the summer of 2019. It just takes that time, you know, that much time to, to work through all the details before you actually start building what we have in, you know, before us right now. Um, as we were building it and finishing it and everything else, uh, the world changed. And for a lot of garage gym owners, I think that's uh, changed for all of us because in the spring of 2020, right before we were about to order all of our equipment, COVID happened. And uh, obviously that made a big difference on being able to work out, the uncertainty of you know gyms being open, and frankly, there was no gym equipment. I mean, it must have been within weeks, everything was sold out. So for us, that was a bit of a detour in our plans. Right in the middle of our build, we're about to order equipment, and, and COVID happened. Now, I actually see it as a blessing because there's a ton more equipment suppliers now, there's more selection. We were patient, we waited about a year before we could get all of our equipment ordered. Now, if you wanna see how we built this building and how we went through the process of it, follow us on Instagram. We have a whole build section on there. There's about 100 pictures up in our highlight reel. and You can see right from the first load of gravel all the way through framing and putting the building together and getting it ready for, for this gym. Okay, we're gonna start our tour. Uh, as we're coming through the door, we'll just kind of go around to the left and just we'll just go around the gym clockwise, basically. This right here is our organizing area. Um, we just needed something to be able to put your keys, your cell phone, your drink, whatever. Just a nice, simple way when you walk in the door, you can put something there and it doesn't clutter the gym up. Uh, I also keep my programming up here so it's quick and easy for me to see what the workout is and where I'm at on it. Uh, this right here is a thermometer and that's from Smart Pro. You can get that on Amazon and it tells us the temperature and humidity. It's super accurate uh, from, in, from outside and or inside the gym. The gym is air conditioned, it's heated and cooled and that's all done through a mini split and I tell you it's, it's well worth it to do especially where we live. It gets really hot. Uh, so, you know, having the air conditioning makes a, a big difference. Uh, we'll start with the dumbbells. So these are Rep Fitness's rubber grip dumbbells. And this is a full set of five through a hundred. Now, something to note on this is if you buy these racks, you will not be able to fit the hundreds on the rack. So this is actually five through 95. And the hundreds are in another storage area. We'll show you that a little bit later. Moving up to the flag and the barbell holder. This is one of my favorite pieces in the gym. This flag was actually a gift from my wife 
and as soon as I saw it, I knew right away what I was going to do and incorporated it into the barbell holder. Um, the flag itself is handmade. It was made by a law enforcement officer in town, and we support the blue here, and we're really happy with how that turned out, and it looks awesome in my opinion. Uh, the bars, these are all rogue bars, and there's six bars in total. I'll just run, run through them real quick. We'll do a review later on these, obviously. The top one is a rogue echo bar. It's in zinc coating. Next one is a bare steel power bar, and that's an Ohio power bar. The one below that is a bare steel Ohio bar, so not the power bar, but an Ohio bar. The one in the middle right here, this is my favorite bar. If I only could pick one, this would be it. And this is a stainless steel Matt Chan bar. Um, kind of rare, I picked this up off the, the, the boneyard, and I don't think you can actually order that bar in that configuration from the website. Below that is my deadlift bar. I love that bar for deadlifts. It doesn't make a difference for me. I can feel the whip in it. Um, it's a really nice bar, it works great. And below that one, this one was really an impulsive buy. Um, someone posted this on Instagram in the Boneyard and thanks Brandon, I picked it up. <laughs> so, this one here is a, a Rogue Ohio Squat Bar. It's a 32 mil bar. Um, by no means do you need to have this bar. Am, am I deserving of it? Probably not, but it's an awesome bar. I do love it. So that covers the bars and, and the flag. Okay, so we'll talk about our benches. This is, uh, okay, one this is a Rep Fitness AB5200. And actually, one thing that's interesting about this bench is it's not in flat black. That is actually the metallic black, and it's really hard to tell between that and flat. So if you're worried about hitting it in the metallic black and blending in with the rest of your stuff, it will just fine. This is the favorite bench of the gym. Uh, the bench in front of me is the FB5000 with the white pad option. And it's a great bench for doing anything flat. Obviously, that's the one I'm going to use. But Okay, this is the third bench that we have. It's the AB3000 FID. A lot of people are familiar with this bench. Uh, I'll probably do some more reviews later on it, but if you've seen these benches before, this one's made by Rep. Uh, it's a great bench, good, good budget bench, does everything that you need it to do. Okay, this is our power rack right here. It's a Rep Fitness ER5000 V2. A lot of people are familiar with this rack. Um, I'll just talk about a few little things about that we have that might be a little bit different, but we have just about every attachment you can think about. We have the front stabilizer, the rear stabilizer, a uh, bunch of different J-cups, um, roller J-cups, we've got the flat J-cups for rep, uh, front squatter arms for Titan, and the multi-grip pull-up bar. This is a 30-inch depth rack, in case people are wondering. I think that's the perfect depth, personally. Our nameplate on the back is kind of unique. You'll see that a lot of them are mounted, especially on the rep fitness racks, on the center post. We decided to mount ours on the back. We actually painted it red, custom, and I think it looks better. So if you're thinking about mounting yours on the back, you can. It works just fine, and I think it looks, looks better. Uh, what plates do we use? We have a set of American barbell plates. Okay, so on this side of the rack we have our bands, and this is from Rogue Fitness. Obviously it's one of their wall storage, multi-use storage racks. Um, there's two different sizes if you ever think about this. You can get it in a, in a longer length or a shorter one. This is the shorter length and I'll show you the longer length in a little bit. Uh, okay, this is our cardio section right here and we have two treadmills a bike and obviously rope kettle bike. We started off with one treadmill and my wife was hogging it all the time, so we had to get another treadmill. So we ended up with another one. Uh, both the treadmills are Life Fitness brand and I have two favorite brands when it comes to treadmills. Might not be the most popular opinion, but this is my opinion. 
They're both commercial grade quality. One is life fitness, one's free for work. You just can't go wrong with those two brands. Yeah, so that's my recommendation for treadmill rule. A quick one anyways. Um, the bike is upright bike. It's made by Freecore. Great bike. I think if you just had to have one piece of cardio equipment, an upright bike is perfect. Or maybe a spin bike or something like that. It's just really easy on the body. You can get good cardio out of it. And it's really enjoyable. It's not that, it's not that bad to do. Running, you know, obviously not everyone loves to run. This machine here, Rogue Echo. This thing just takes your soul, it sucks. I uh, don't recommend you get one. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Uh, that's a great machine. Uh, works your whole body, really brings the heart rate up quick. Good for warming up if you're looking for, uh, just you're not gonna wanna do a ton of cardio if you wanna do a good warm up. These things work great. Uh, we love ours. Okay, this is our padded floor area. Let me just move these bags out of the way. Okay, the space here is 20 feet by 10 feet. These are dull core martial art mats. They're inch and a quarter thick. They work great. We have them on top of a sub floor, which is a spring floor, uh, and it works really well for absorbing balls. It's basically a plyo floor, if you want to call it that. You can do yoga here, martial arts, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, MMA. Uh, the kids use it all the time for gymnastics. I'll pull down some rings in a second. I can show you where the rings go. But if you're gonna fall or do anything that's involving jumping or falling or fighting, you wanna do it on a floor that's gonna at least be safe. Okay, just wanted to show you what it looks like when we have our rings out. These are our gymnastics rings. Yes, there's hockey tape on them. I've had these for probably 10 years. These rings work awesome. They're really, really, really strong rings. And the kids love working out with these. They're both in gymnastics, so this area sees a lot of use, especially by the kids. Okay, uh, we'll just talk about the boxing bags a little bit and what brand they are and everything and, and what models. They are all title bags, obviously. Um, this one is the Tie Bag 3.0. Uh, this one here is the Big Bang Heavy Bag 3.0, and then that one on the end is actually from Amazon. That is an aqua bag, it's an A3. If you're looking for the size, it may A1 through I think A10. It just basically gets bigger as you go. And that's an A3 size, filled with water. Works great, I love that bag. They are all on a rail system that goes clear across the gym, all the way over to the added floor area. So you can move the bags, lock them in place, and I'll explain that more in an upcoming video. Okay. We do have a Red Bull fridge in the gym. It's really cool, I like this fridge, it's super unique. Found this on Marketplace, really happy with it. And then we also have another Rogue storage rack. This is the longer one. Um, yeah, and then inside here, we store all of our, mostly our boxing stuff, all of our pads and gloves and everything else. So, nice little storage cabinet from Husky for me. Okay. This bench, I get a lot of questions about. I'm just gonna touch on it really quick because the tour is gonna be long. So, this is a DeWalt bench from Home Depot. It comes yellow, and all I did was paint it red. You can paint it black, you can paint it whatever color you want. It's an awesome bench. It's about 150 bucks at Home Depot. You usually have to order it in and go pick it up or have it delivered. But anyway, a lot of questions about the bench, and that's the story on that. Okay. This is a reverse hyper by Westside Barbell. They sell it on the Rogue website. And what makes this one unique is it folds up and it also doesn't take up a lot of real estate. We really like it. If you're looking at buying one, I would consider getting this because of the size and the way you can store it. Uh, some of the stationary ones obviously are a lot bigger. If you have a space, they work great. If you're questioning size and space, these things are bigger than you think, trust me. Um, I've seen some of the stationary ones, they take up a lot of space. Right behind me here is a Titan lat pull down. I love this machine. It works awesome. It's actually super smooth. Um, Functioning wise, I've had no issues with it. I'll do a review on it later for sure. Got the Rep Fitness FT5000 cable machine.
Chain, this is their commercial grade one. Uh, one I'll just tell you, I'm going to do a review on it, but one thing I really like about this machine, and why I chose this one over all the other models of brand, is the width of where the cables come out. I find it makes a big difference. A lot of machines are narrow, and you're trying to do cable flies, you're trying to do anything that involves both hands, both arms. If it's really narrow, you just don't get that stretch. I really like the width of this, and if you're considering buying one, just pay attention to that, it's something that you might want to look into. Um, all of our attachments are on a pegboard right here, and there's also attachments on the back. Uh, everything's organized. If you have a chance to buy some of these Grip, these Ergo Grips from Walmart, they're a great deal. I think they're 125 bucks shipped, and it comes with five pieces. They're unbelievable for the price. I bought them just to try them and just to see how they would compare, or, you know, how they would feel. Great quality. Okay, on this rack, this is an again faster rack. We just got it in the gym, really like it. Paid around $500 for it. Awesome deal, in my opinion. Um, and this is where we store our medicine balls, our slam balls, that type of stuff's here. And we have our heavy set of dumbbells here. Get medium heavy, these aren't really heavy. They're 105s to 120. So for some people that's heavy, like myself maybe, but for other people that's light. Um, on the bottom, we have our True Grit kettlebells. Those are, as far as I'm concerned, probably the best deal on kettlebells you can find right now. You can buy them on Best Buy, on sale, just wait, they'll go on sale. Order of in, free shipping, can't really go wrong. Okay, moving over here, Pioneer belt. Um, not sure where I'm gonna store that yet, so it's kind of, it's just hanging out right there. Over here is our plate tree, this is from Prey Fitness, and it stores all of our bumper plates. These are from Fringe Sport. My favorite bumper plates are from Fringe Sport. I love these, they're super quick, good quality. Um, great company, by the way, too, and these are my wife's bars, so this is a Rogue Bella bar in pink Cerakote and an Archon bar, and she uses both of those. Uh, back here in the back, you can just barely see it, is a cambered bar from Bells of Steel, that's their arch nemesis bar. And then over on this side, from Archon Fitness, is their Cerakoted curl bar. And great bar for the money, and we'll do a review on that later on. Okay, quick thing on this side, this is where we store our larger pull-down attachments on the, on the back side of that other pegboard that you were seeing before. Um, we've got a plyo box from Rep Fitness here, this is the, the padded one, really nice, really like that, there's an ab mat, and then there's a dip attachment from Rogue, that's the Matador dip attachment, works great, no complaints there, and of course every gym has to have a flip tire. Okay, just a quick little thing. One side of the gym, one bay, you could say, is dedicated to working on cars and, and hobbies projects. That's one of my favorite things. Uh, behind me is my toolboxes and how they're all set up. I will be sharing with you in future episodes how to organize your tools and how to set all that up. It turned out much, much nicer than we expected or even had dreamed of. My wife's been filming today, so I thank her for that and thank her for all her help in building this gym. And we look forward to sharing this experience with you guys and just teaching you where not to make mistakes when you're building your garage gym, where you can save money and what you can do to do it better. I mean, we made a lot of mistakes, but we learned, we also learned a lot. So we appreciate that. Please. Follow us on Instagram and like and subscribe on YouTube and we'll continue to bring you content. If there's anything that you see that you want more information on, you want a review on, just comment below, let us know.